Well, hello, my fellow car modelers. How you doing today? Here is another episode of Andy's Kits, and we've got a zinger for you here today. We're going to start digging into some of the Johan. But this is a pretty popular Johan model. I know it was around a lot back in the late 80s. I always wanted to pick one up and never did. And then I regretted it because all of a sudden, zip, Johan was gone. This one was never around. And this seems to be one of those Johan kits a lot of people look for. It's just a 69 Roadrunner, but not just any 69 Roadrunner. It just had a lot of cool parts in it. Shows you on the side here. Came with a full reel cage. You could build it stock, but you also had all this neat stuff to turn it into a stock car. And it had a set of decals to do this 22. And, you know, box art. We'll show around here. Or you could do a custom showstopper. Ooh. But uh, so far, this is the only one we have found in the collection. But let's take a look at this one. Ta-da! You never know what color they're going to be. I've seen them in so many different colors. I didn't really expect yellow. But there we go. It had a you know, typical of Johan. Everything molded in. But it, it was a decent looking chassis for the day. They did get the... Uh, the look of you know those years of uh, Chrysler product. But this body, the interior, no back seat so you can make a race car. The body is really nice. Johan did such a good job with this body. And it's just a there's a lot of fans of this kit. That uh, I know there's even people that prefer this over the Issued in the, I guess it would have been the 90s when AMT issued this kit and then did a pro street of them, 68s and 69s. Maybe again, we'll look at that interior tub. Faint but nice, you know, engraving of the door panels. When we looked at that chassis, basic, but it's there. You got what you need. And of course, because of the interior tub, you got a separate back seat and your high back seats and this is pretty cool and look at these some stock car style uh, headers that, that was actually very common with stock car racing having these headers because they had to get them up they had to lay flat up against the, the floor so they could get the cars real low but there's a seat belt in there a shoulder harness a lot of detail in this nice roll cage a lot of detail for you know, back in those days and where it was, you know, kits were a little more simpler. And I know when it was hard to get a hold of nice, good-looking steel wheels to do a do a road runner, you had those. Just a uh, really nice kit. Nice uh, hemi valve covers. There's your dashboard. And I think somewhere there's a plate to make it like a stock car dash or you put over that. And here is part of the Roadrunner grill. And I believe what you have is the rest of the grill is right there. Well, it doesn't see through, so I'm not quite sure how that works. That's pretty interesting. That's a nice grill. No no emblems on it whatsoever which is highly sought after I know there was resin casters that just made that grill so you could put it into your uh, AMT kit and look at that some other valve covers nice Mickey Thompson finned hem hemi valve covers a lot of cool parts in this kit and there's all your blank offs for doing a stock car and you got these these are actually not that bad of wheels they're in halves but uh, they actually kind of make a pretty wide, nice looking stock car wheel. Tire, that is, I'm sorry. I actually didn't mind these too much. They look kind of junky like that, but you put them together and do a good job molding them together, gluing them together. They're pretty wide. They actually can look pretty good. With our red, there we go with our red. Some other parts in there. Uh, and then there's side glass, because back in the day when this car would have ran in NASCAR back in the late 60s they'd have roll-up windows if they were running at the big tracks like Daytona let's take a look 
at this really cool decal sheet. Okay. I don't think this is the correct decal sheet for this. I recall this just having a simple decal sheet with the number 22's on it. But uh, I think these were thrown in from another kit. But it's Johan. Maybe. Who knows? It could be one of the real older ones that had a... Who knows? You never know with Johan. There we go. There's your Johan instruction sheet. You got your custom build and you got your stock build. And you have your race build. So this was a three-in-one. How cool is that? And I found in here, looks like the stock car steering wheel looks like it's wrapped for the stock car racing steering wheel. I looked at, we've got ourselves a stock steering wheel. A typical Mopar steering wheel, those big steering wheels of the uh, 60s and early 70s. This thing is just a neat, neat old kit. Yeah, there you have it. Let's put this right over it so it protects it. There you have it. The Johan 1969 Roadrunner Old Track Racer or 3 in 1. What a super cool kit. If you've never gotten to see one but you've heard the folklore of it, well now you've taken a look at it and see what they're like. I'm not sure yet. We haven't figured out if this is going to go up for sale or how much, but uh, it's the only one that was in the in the collection, so it's pretty cool. I even kind of got my eye on it. I've always wanted one of these, but you know, you can't own everything <laughs> as much as you'd like to. Anyways, it's just, that was a neat, I, I haven't looked at one of those in years, so that was really cool. I forgot how cool this kit was. Now I, I know why so many people wanted it. So again, I want to thank you guys for watching. This was a lot of fun. I had a good time with this one. And uh, thanks a bunch. You keep on putting those comments down there. Everybody's really liking this series. I really appreciate it. Uh, just like, subscribe if you haven't. Go on to my Teespring store, get yourself a mug and a shirt if you want to be a producer. All those links are below. Patreon, check that out. We get content over there that you guys don't see here on YouTube. And uh, you get to have a little bit of a, a, a more working opinion about how the direction of these shows go here on this channel if you're a producer. So I want to thank you guys for watching. I want to thank you guys for supporting. You are the best best YouTube audience in the world. Thank you so much. And you know what we say here. Keep building these model cars. Why is that? Well, come on guys. You know why. It's fun. We'll see you in the next video. Here's the producers. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, okay. And this is different. This is not the same one. So never mind. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next episode. Ta-da! You never know what color they're going to be.